Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia G. Today's video is going to be all about confidence and how I keep myself feeling confident all the time. You know, every once in a while, we just need like a little reminder, a little bit of a boost to our self-esteem. And that's what I wanna share with you guys today, especially in today's society, literally everywhere you go, everyone is literally obsessed with humbling women, especially black women, and I cannot stand it you know it's normal every once in a while you start feeling a little bit down getting a little bit of a rut and you know you just need a little boost so this video i'm going to be sharing my tips with you and if you like this kind of video a sit down video let me know down below in the comments and give me a thumbs up and i hope you guys are doing this first i want to say that you are that girl and i constantly remind myself this by tracking my progress everyone always talks about setting goals for yourself making sure you meet these goals but track your progress as well you know when you're on a journey and you're trying to attain something you need to remind yourself what have you done in the past what have you already done what have you already accomplished what have you you know you can get so wrapped up in maybe it's not feeling good enough but you know once you remember what you've already done you're like oh wow like i really did that i really can do that i really can do anything that's something that i love to do maybe like an imposter i sit and i think all right what what have i already done what have i done to deserve the goodness that is to come you know it can be a little thing you need to celebrate your small wins all the time like in the moment you know when you reach a big accomplishment you're like everyone everyone around you is clapping for you you know you feel excited but you know that where's all keep yourself going for example even today um as i build my youtube channel i like to look back at like okay each milestone that i've hit you know got this many subscribers i've worked with this brand um you know different things like that keep them in track celebrate those wins and I keep going and I like to do it frequently every once in a while just as a reminder um that I'm the things that I'm doing serve a purpose and that really strengthens my drive every single day just look back on it whenever you need it and add to it as the list grows and grows self-confidence also comes from self-exploration scheduling some time just for you learning yourself knowing yourself and the things that you like which brings me to today's sponsor bush which is all about their self-love journey you guys can check out any of their self-love items you can check out any of their self-love items which will be linked down below and you guys can use my code 20 Mia G on anything you'd like so affirmations are super important affirmations are positive little sayings that you say to yourself daily weekly monthly that remind you of who you are and who you want to be affirmations are meant to uplift you in anything that you do a lot of people think of affirmations in um the sense of your love language being words of affirmation do you want to hear positive things um daily but you need to tell them to yourself you need to be your biggest cheerleader um for me personally i like to i like to remind myself every day that i'm smart i'm learning i'm doing my best once you have engraved in your brain those things that you believe in yourself there's nothing that anyone can tell you or anything that can happen to you that can make you doubt who you are and who you want to be i apologize for the background music um i hope it stops soon but it kind of doesn't seem like it's going to so we'll see these affirmations going daily as often as possible so whenever i'm feeling down if i make a mistake i know that that's not who i am because that's not who i say that i am and that's not who i want to be i by speaking these things into existence whatever it is that you need to work on within yourself these affirmations should help you and guide you and the more that you say it the more that it will feel true to you and that way you're not going to be questioning every single thing that you do there are moments of self-doubt that we face but these affirmations that you choose for yourself they should be pushing you towards your ultimate goal and how you want to be for yourself you know it might not be true right now but the more that you live in who you are and say who you are because affirmations don't just come true by you saying them obviously it's all about practice you have to practice what you preach you need to be 
who you say that you are. Affirmations should align with who you say you are and who you want to be. And if you want to be a confident person, tell yourself those things that you need to work on or that you're working on that you believe in yourself. And the more that you say those affirmations, the more they become true because they're reminding you to live that way. For me, finding my personal style has been the ultimate confidence boost to my day-to-day -day life. Obviously, looks are not everything, but truth be told, when you look your best and you feel good, you feel good about yourself. Finding your personal style and your signature look is like a rite of passage for everyone. You know, we're constantly surrounded by trends. Um, you know, growing up, you know, we might be more influenced by the people around us. You know, dress how society feels we should and looking how society wants us to look. Once you find your personal style and you're confident in it and you're comfortable with it, you don't feel the need to gravitate to trends. I'm not saying don't try anything new. I love trying new things, especially with my look. I know what looks work best for me. Um, I know which hairstyles I like. I know the makeup look that I enjoy, the jewelry, the colors that I like, things like that. And that's kind of what I shop for. That's what I gravitate to on a daily basis. And that's what I like. So I don't feel pressure to look a certain way that society may want me to look. And you know, your style is gonna be different from my style. Everyone's style is different. But once you know that and you understand that, and when people are like, oh, I don't like the nails, I don't like the lashes, I don't like the hair, it's not me. It's not gonna bother you. I know that when any outfit that I pick out and I choose to leave the house with, or I choose to post online, I like it. I feel good about it. And I'm doing my thing. You know, I'm keeping it pushing, especially if you're someone that consumes a lot of media and everyone else having their different style. It's like but when you really know your style and that's what you do, like it makes life so much easier, it makes getting dressed easier, it really helps you start to live for yourself because you're not dressing to impress other people. You're dressing to feel comfortable, to do you. You're dressing for yourself. And confidence comes from within. So it's like doing that on a daily basis, once you start working towards it, once you start doing it every single day, like you've really got it. You've mastered life basically. Avoid insecure people. People that are insecure continuously project those insecurities onto you it can be intentional it can be unintentional but it's going to happen misery loves company okay insecure people are going to make you feel insecure about yourself unfortunately say little things about themselves or even about you because they're insecure in themselves and to bring you and it brings you down it weighs on you it's really unhealthy to be around um like i always being around insecure people can really change your mindset, especially when that's not who you are. Like think about that scene in Mean Girl, talking about what their insecurities are, and Katie can't even think of a single thing that's wrong with her. And then she's like, oh, I have really bad breath. Like, someone has an insecurity within themselves that they're constantly talking about, constantly mentioning. You'll start to notice like that same insecurity in you, or you might even start thinking, well, maybe there's something wrong with me because I really like this person and they're obviously, they obviously got something going on and you know, it's a bit worrisome. So detrimental to you to constantly be surrounded by people that do not think highly of themselves, especially if you're someone that thinks highly of yourself or you want to be someone that thinks highly of yourself. You, you can't do it. You can't do it to yourself. I sh do not recommend it. There's you don't want that. You don't want that lifestyle. You have to leave insecure people where they're at. People that don't want to grow and people that want to sit in their faults and dwell on them rather than making them better. You can't do that. My next point kind of ties into avoiding insecure people. Carefully choose your support system. Your support system is so important. Confidence comes from within. And a lot of people feel like they're on this journey of life alone, 
but in reality you're not that's not the way that humans function you have to have some kind of support system it could be one people it could be a giant group, a group of people either way be careful who carefully choose who you want to support you your support system should be full of people that hold you accountable people that uplift you and people that want to see you do well and it should be mutual you shouldn't just be taking all their energy it has to be a give and take you should be surrounded by like-minded people that want to learn and grow and people that believe in you the same way that you believe in yourself someone that constantly is speaking fear into your plans or if you go and tell them good news they kind of downplay it that's not someone that needs to be in your support system someone that should be in your support system is someone that you go to and you have an idea and they're like wow like i love that for you they're trying to give you some pointers they believe in what you can do and they're also realistic to you they're not enabling you to do things that are harmful to yourself they're not like yes men they're people that are very genuine with the support that they give you and they're not trying to lead you in the wrong direction some should be people who are looking to learn and grow and be successful in themselves as well not just people not people who have settled into who they are and kind of are like it's too late for me um they like where they're at i mean everyone has their own path but if they know that they're like not in a good situation and they're not trying to make it any better you have you have to avoid that you can't be around that because that you will adopt that mindset and you don't want that you want to be around people who see the love that you have for yourself and they love you just as much those people that when you have a support system that is super negative it really weighs on your self-worth much harder than it needs to be life is already hard enough surround yourself by people that love you surround yourself by people that want to see you do well people that believe you can do well and people that are rooting for you and you're rooting for them too surround yourself by like-minded people confident people people that you admire and you look up to those are the people for you especially as a confident person people that are not confident don't want to see you be confident and they don't want to see you living your best life and that's not what we want and next people that are confident love to step outside of their comfort zone and try new things if you're looking to take the first step towards being a more confident person think of something that you're absolutely scared to do and do it confident people take risks all the time take these risks they know that they'll be okay whether or not it works out whichever way it goes they know they'll be okay think about all the times that you've been scared to go after something and then you've been after and you were like oh that's not that bad it's just like procrastination you have a small task you keep putting it off keep putting it off and you finally do it and it takes you five seconds and you're like that was literally nothing before i started my youtube channel i used to record videos on my phone all the time traveling me doing my, my makeup my skincare just hauls little things like that and i would always joke like oh it's just our youtube channel and i never did it and then i finally was like you know what i'm gonna just go after it after i po posted my first youtube video i felt so proud of myself like i felt so good and to make it even better the people that knew that i wanted to do a youtube channel were like why didn't you just start it sooner like this video was good we loved it people i didn't even know were supporting the video and that's how i knew like i just have to keep this going like i felt great i i can think of so many other things that i was like scared to do and then i did it and i was like wow like i felt i felt like a boss after i did it. i felt great you know it's like back to school time right now think about all the kids that were so nervous being away from their families living on campus for the first time being around all these people that they didn't know and after like the first day or the first week they're like oh this is this is nothing i was scared for literally nothing go after it. you'll feel amazing and things that i would like to try throughout my lifetime and i'm looking forward to them like i look forward to doing these things go after what you want do what you want do what you feel that you are called 
to do go after it if it sounds crazy to you go after it try it i know it's easier said than done but truthfully it can be something so small it can be something that's huge it can be something like it can literally be something small it can be something huge just do it get it over with and then you'll say oh that was nothing and you'll feel great about yourself trust me okay so those are just a few things that i do routinely to keep myself confident if you guys like these kind of videos let me know um and make sure you guys give me a thumbs up i really did enjoy talking to you guys getting a little bit more personal i know i kind of kept it a little bit a little vague with you guys but i want you guys to get to know me more so if you guys like these kind of videos or if you want more advice videos let me know but that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video